Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on storing and using code in the syntax editor in SPSS. So oftentimes in counseling research, we have a set of data and we run an analysis, like these fictitious data I have here in the data view in SPSS. And a time later, we want to add records to the data set and rerun that same analysis. Now if the analysis is simple, it's not too much trouble to go in, open a dialog, maybe check off a few boxes, and then hit OK and run the analysis. But if it's a relatively complex analysis, it'll take some time to do that, plus we may have forgotten the exact steps that we used before. Now those steps are stored in the output view, but they can also be stored in the syntax editor. And storing them in that manner comes with the distinct advantage of being able to rerun the analysis quickly. So I'll use an example from these fictitious data. This is set up for repeated measures in NOVA. So we have an ID variable, a program variable, that has two levels of independent variable and then three dependent variables. So I would, to analyze this with repeated measures ANOVA, I go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures, and you can see at this level for the within subject factor name, since we're really looking at time, I'm going to type in time, and there's three dependent variables, so I'll use three uh, as the number of levels here. I'll add that and then define and I'll move pretest over to the first within subjects variable then test to the second and then post test to the third. For between subjects factors in this case just one between subjects factor will be program. I'll put that in under plots, I'm going to put program on the horizontal axis and time on a separate line and add that. There will be no post hoc testing because we just have two levels of program. I'm not going to save any new variables. And other options, I'm going to move program, time, and program times time over to the display means for list box and check off descriptive statistics and estimates of effect size. Then I'll click continue and this is set up now to run this repeated measures ANOVA. Now as you can see this was fairly complex going in each time as we add records and going through all these steps would not be practical and this would be a good example of where using the syntax editor would save a good deal of time. So I'm going to go ahead and run this analysis as it is. Just click OK. And we can see that it starts here with general linear model and you have all the output from the repeated measures ANOVA, all the output that I asked for. But right above general linear model, if you scroll up, you see that we have here 11 lines of code. And with this code, we can rerun the same analysis as many times as we would like quickly. So I'm going to double click and select these 11 lines of code. And I'm going to control C to copy them. And I'm going to minimize the output window. I'm going to go to File, New and syntax and this is the syntax editor and with control V I'm going to paste those 11 lines of code into the syntax editor and then I'm going to save this the file save as and I'm just going to call this syntax underscore rm underscore ANOVA so this is now saved and I'll close it out. Now with the code saved in the syntax editor, 
I can bring that back up and run the analysis again. Now if you're still in the same instance of SPSS, you can always go back and hit Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures. You can see it saves everything the way I had it. But if I were to reset this, and in this case I have to reset it at the first stage as well, this is what it'll look like by default. Like if I close SPSS and I come back in and I want to rerun the same analysis, I go back to analyze the general linear model, repeated measures. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to have to start from the beginning and change the within subject factor name, put the number of levels, and then all the other aspects of repeated measures ANOVA that I specified in the other dialogue. So to avoid this, I use the syntax editor. So I'll, I'll go to File, New, Syntax, and from the syntax editor, I'll click Open. And you can see the syntax RM ANOVA file is right there. So I'll open that. So go ahead and close this empty one. And you can see here it is. And all I have to do to run it is press this green arrow. And it's going to conduct the same analysis that I had run before. So it's exactly the same analysis. It uses exactly the same code to run. Not only does this method allow you to run analyses repeatedly, but it stores the code so you know what you did, but it stores in a way that's very accessible. So let me bring over the documents folder and you can see I have the syntax file stored here. It's .sps. That's a syntax file. And let's say that I'm using a computer that doesn't have SPSS on it, or I just really want to look at the code. I don't necessarily need to do anything with it. I don't need to rerun the analysis. I can go to this file and right-click, open with, and instead of selecting SPSS, I can select Notepad, and the information is available right in Notepad. I hope this video on storing and using code in the syntax editor in SPSS has been helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.